Hi class, and welcome to chapter one, Introduction to Integrated Solid Waste Management. This um, section is gonna cover some of the basic fundamentals that we'll come again to and everything else we talk about in this course. So in this video, we're gonna uh, look at what is integrated sol solid waste management. This is gonna cover section 1.1 and 1.2 in the notes. So in that phrase, integrated solid waste management, there's one really important word to think about, and that's waste. So how do we know that waste is waste? Um, up on the screen, on the picture on the left, we've got a nice beach, but it's covered with all sorts of plastic waste, which has been all over the news um, in the last few years. In this example, we can see this is something that clearly doesn't belong here. This is something that's harming this environment. The people don't like it. It's not good for the animals. It's in the wrong place, and it shouldn't be there. On the other side, there's a little hermit crab, and he's actually living inside a piece of plastic waste. He's living inside a bottle cap. So whereas in, on the left side picture, we can say, well, that really doesn't belong here. That's actually that little hermit crab's home. He's getting some use out of it. So it's tough to say, um, it, is that waste in that context? Maybe there's some bad things about it and some good things about it. Maybe it's just in the wrong place or could be used in a different way. So these are the kinds of things we need to think about if we want to actually solve the waste problem. As engineers, we can just label something as waste and then apply a waste disposal um, practice that's appropriate to it. Or we can think a little bit bigger and think about the bigger systems and how we can make something not waste by using it in a way where we get some value out of it. So that's Something to always be aware of is um, how do we regard something as a waste or how do we regard it as a resource? So integrated solid waste management is a comprehensive waste prevention, recycling, composting, and disposal program. An effective ISWM system considered how, considers how to prevent, recycle, and manage solid waste in ways that most effectively protect human health in the environment. So in this definition, we've got a whole bunch of things that fall under this umbrella. We're targeting different types of waste and different kinds of ways to valorize that waste. And we're targeting it at both protecting human health and our environment. And this is it's kind of a high level definition. So what I'll have you do right away is look at some pieces of this whole big integrated system. So there's a good video um, that I'll, I'll put a clickable link in the description looking at New York City's waste system. In New York City, you know, it's one of the highest densities of people with the world to be able to have all those people living in that space. They actually need really robust systems to be able to move that waste out every day and not just have it pile out in the streets. And they didn't always have those systems. So as you watch through the video, try and create a mind map of all the different parts that are in this big integrated system. What are the inputs? What's inside it? What comes out of that system? Um, ask yourself what surprised you about it? What's changed over the years and why were those changes made? And in addition to all these technical pieces, the facilities and the machinery, what aspects of human behavior do they have to design for and how do they do that in the video? So I'll leave you with that for a few minutes and we'll come back and chat about it. <laughs> 